Is that it? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm in danger. Someone has to defend this this earth. And there's not a lot worth defending much anymore, but damn it, we're gonna do it. So this is the newly released uh, Earth Defense Force 6 that is out on Steam right now. No console version as of yet. <sighs> Call sign Storm 1. No, no, not Storm 1. We're gonna go the actual OG, the Lord Ark. So I was playing some Earth Defense Force 5 on Steam a few weeks back. Um, excited to see that this looks very, very similar. Offline, I don't know much about this at all. Like what is there new in Earth Defense Force 6? But in the far off future of 2022, a cluster of spaceships suddenly appeared in Earth's orbit. Humanity soon learned that they did not come in peace. The first strike was premeditated and precise, not sloppy at all. In just one day, half of the world's military bases were destroyed, leaving the humans all but defenseless. But there is a but, right? It just says game over right there. Okay, an alien ship, good. Uh, they were visitors from another planet. No shit. People called them the Primers. <laughs> In the struggle that ensued, it seemed that it would only be a matter of time before the human race was wiped out. Until the Primers. They drink that, that poison stuff, Prime? Uh, the Special Forces team Storm destroyed the alien mothership. Hell yeah. And amidst the chaos, the Primers left Earth. They're like, nah, we don't know. We want none of, of Storm smoke. Gotta get out of here. Peace had seemingly returned. Aw. The past two years of war had ravaged the planet, reducing the human population by 90%. Civilization was on the verge of collapse. Nevertheless, man, these, these aliens did better than Thanos ever did. Nevertheless, the survivors struck out upon the road to recovery. Soon, another three years passed. The past two years of war, so I guess this is three years after Earth Defense Force 5? Anyway, I'm a ranger. I always play as a ranger. I uh, am not educated in the subtleties of the, the wing diver, air raider, or fencer. But they're there if you want them. They've been in our defense force for the last couple of games. Quite a bit. I think it was Insect Armageddon that instituted uh, classes. Yeah? Uh, grenade launcher. Let's adjust armor. Oh, wait, no. We don't have armor, extra armor to adjust. I'm gonna get colors though. I I do wish you could customize your characters a bit more than this. Uh, th th those are my colors. I enjoy that. Um, and character models don't really get much better in Earth Defense Force. Again, Insect Armor again. They look quite good. I I should play that again. I think it was underappreciated at the time. Is it exact? The only thing I really didn't like about it was like how short it was compared to other Earth Defense Force games. Uh, yeah, the Grant, uh, the Broken PA11. What else we got? Yeah, I'm I'm mostly just your very standard vanilla uh, Earth Defense Force player, where I like my machine gun and I like my uh, rocket launcher. I'll take a shotgun on occasion depending on if we're in the caves or, or whatever. And I'm a normal boy. I'm a nice, normal boy. Uh, that, that, that's that's the way I roll. Sometimes I'll, I'll go a bit harder and go into the uh, first two or three maps and farm weapons that way, but... Because we are still here. We are... Say it. Say it. didn't say it you blew it you had it all and you blew it what the a cut scene you look at this nerdlinger don't worry me like that who are you oh yeah yeah we're playing on steam so yeah wasid uh, 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 throwing it back throwing it back uh you just got here huh it's my first day you made it just in time okay what does that mean uh, move the mouse to change your orientation. It's a funny way to put that. Let's go. Where are we going? Where, 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 where are you taking me, Mr. Stranger Danger here? I don't know who this guy is. 
This is weird already. But yeah, Earth Defense Force 5 actually started with like a pretty long intro tutorial. So depending on if that's what this is, I might skip that. Ooh. It feels really weird to not be running full sprint. Uh, reloading weapons. Uh, I'm very intimidated by this man. Oh. Nice. Oh, nice. Ooh, that guy looking nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's more of a command. Nice. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I get enthusiastic. We are soldiers, brave and strong. Our muscles will protect you all from any harm. Yeah, amazing. What a ly lyricist. Any harm. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't go through other NPC dialogue with my own dumb shit. We're on the front lines the whole time. I can't believe you survived. Neither can I, honestly. You really outdid yourself this time. I, I guess. You shot down a command ship and saved the world. Am I Storm One? You fought long and hard. I'm just a rando, I guess, that fought in the last war. Did that was like three years sense? ago. Did the weapon I made serve you well. We have much. To Are we like together? Like this it seems like a very intimate, uh, emotionally charged relationship. It feels like there's a ton of backstory I'm not aware of. Oh God, Sergeant Slaughter's here. We're not scum. This is a toxic workplace. How dare you? Not only that, you lot aren't even soldiers at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Amazing. So, but the thanks. war, it's, it said the war's Everyone been over for three man. years and all the Peaceful, aliens fucking ran because we washed them good. The all right. Tutorial level one, I guess. We have our guns out. Cool, let's see how beautiful this city is gonna be. I mean, it's usually sparkling, pristine in EDF games, so there's a lot there's a, there's a lot at stake here. Honestly, it's, oh. I don't know, we're just in Fist of the North Star world? Oh man, I think I see them way, way back there. I see some sort of pulsating horde. Oh wait, no, it's the frog guys. The frog guys, I think they first showed up in EDF-5? I think so. The frog guys are weird, though. Like, they're too they're too well animated, if you know what I mean. Like, they, they're kind of, like, overly uh, uh, expressive. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's, that's bad if the buildings are falling apart just by one rocket shot. Uh-oh, there's one. And that's a miss. That's also a miss. Ooh, the reload time on this. I gotta get a new one. Yeah. All right, first, first try. <laughs> He's slowly coming around the bend. Oh yeah, this this should do it. You know, whenever you're you're in doubt whether you hit something, just look for a splash of purple or green. Uh, sometimes yellow, orange, depending on what you're fighting. But fighting the frogs, it just seems like they're leftovers. Oh, look at this pit. That's depressing. I love how they have my friend in the suit who's just, like, given a gun. It's like, go go fight aliens. But speaking of aliens, why? Why are they even here? It's been three years. Shouldn't we have cleared everyone out by now? Seems strange. Oh, damn, they got like a shotgun. And what, what's disturbing about these guys, even if you kill them, you haven't killed them. You like, their legs are saw, shot off, and they're still like lying on the ground, and they're still shooting at you. I don't know, I don't think if the, I don't think our EDF human soldiers will have that type of uh, will to fight. They'd be like, oh no, please woe is me. Like, I'll never I'll never go home to my family and eat a big sandwich again, or whatever bullshit they usually say. Huh. That seems kind of new, him, him having animations where he leaps over everything. I don't think that was in yeah, EDF5. Anyway, so for those that have uh, no experience in EDF games, there's two things you want to look out for. Uh, it's always picking up armor packs 
and weapon packs. Weapon packs are bright green because the game really wants you to collect them so you'll never miss them. Oh, 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 oh. Damn, cooked them. Uh, so armor packs like cumulatively, uh, armor packs combine like it builds up your health very, very slowly, like two points of uh, additional health uh, up there. So you want to gain it as much as you can, but it doesn't always go towards your class type. It goes towards all the class types. Like you'll pick up like five armor packs and maybe two of them will be for your chosen classic ranger and two will, the other remaining ones will go to like wing diver or whatever. Um, but they're always worth picking up because it just lets you slowly gain uh, health over time. And of course the weapon packs, which is where the, the main toys of the game are. And then the weapon packs, which are the main toys of the game. Uh, most of the time, they're just things like reload speed or spread of shots, blah, blah, blah. Then you'll just get crazy weapons, lasers, turrets, a bunch of weird-ass stuff. The, my, my problem with starting an EDF game and doing a video on it is you have to play a shitload of it. Like, there's like, I don't know, 70 missions, and they, they, they're not short to do, most of them. So the only really crazy stuff happens later, like, I don't know, mission 20 or something like that. So I don't know how long we'll play this. I'll, I'll, I'll see. I'll see if my fingers can take it because you have to do so much rolling, jumping, shooting. Th thankfully, it's not like you have to pound the uh, the button to shoot. It's if you have a machine gun, you're always just holding it down or whatever. Uh, see, it's oh, the building collapsed on him. That was awesome. Good stuff. All right, so we've cleared out everybody. You just kind of have to wait for someone to say something. I'm not sure who's talking. Maybe it's my office friend. Sounds like him. There you go. And here we have this running function, which I think it was introduced in the last game. Basically, anything that goes in your cone uh, around you, you'll pick up automatically. So it's basically meant to pick up um, power-ups as fast as possible. The only problem with it is that you can't attack while doing it, and there's like a cool down period. So yeah, it's only really meant to cover uh, distances really, really quickly. Uh, it, lest we don't have a vehicle. Because there's like vehicles and stuff, but those come way, way later, and you have to like order them like a, like a big boss drops them off from like Mother Base, essentially. Something, something along those lines. Damn. You and you have to lead your shots constantly because, aside from these particular enemy types, like enemies are always moving, and especially the frogs or aliens, as the game called. So j just to get the uh, just to get the the right monikers out there, if there's anything that's a bug in EDF giant wasp uh, an ant or like you know spiders they're always monsters that uh, monsters are the capital m it's never like giant insects it's never or maybe there's like in an insect armageddon that they call them that but i swear in the last like at least three or four edf games they always just call them monsters and uh vice versa if anything is not a bug then it's just an alien so these uh, uh, frogmans are just called aliens. They're not monsters. They're they're clearly clearly 100% aliens. Uh, if there's robots, they'll usually call them robots. But sometimes they think they'll dip into monsters. Uh, and and I'm sad that like unless the game actually um, does uh, does some unexpected things. I'm not going to see any giant kaiju anytime soon. There's always usually one or two fights like that. Damn. But uh, I doubt we're going to see them because like, that's always late game stuff. Uh, going by my memory, which is admittedly is not the uh, the sharpest in the shed. So I got hand grenades, a spark vine, but that's for the wing diver. So not much there. Uh, to be fair, there wasn't even that many enemies. So 
doubt I'm going to get anything uh, good like that. But yeah, uh, clearing levels and getting weapons. All right, now the monsters. Let's do it. Don't stop the monsters. Don't stop the mons monsters. Uh, so I'm guessing we should be at ants now. Yeah, that looks like ants. So if you have any sort of phobia about giant ins uh, well, not even giant insects, insects in general. Uh, one thing I find that Earth Defense Force uh, increased is the detail and grossness of the giant bugs. It isn't like how it used to be in Earth Defense Force 2017 on the 360 where it's like, a really bad performance like the slowdown and stuff you know some people would say that's like uh it gives the game some gravitas a sense of scale but i i don't think it was exclusively ew it was exclusively that i just think the actual sense of scale and how big the maps are um how oh, like tall they make certain uh enemies that contributed to it so uh, the last couple that have been released on Steam and like uh, PS4, PS5, I think even. Um, I think uh, the uh, better performance uh, serves the game better. So usually um, a level will start with like whatever standard enemies and then as like a uh, late level surprise, they'll throw a brand new type right at the end for like one big battle. Um, but that's kind of the appeal of these games I find like even though they're really repetitive I don't know what it is, but I'll always like play this for hours Because it's such a video game. It's so relaxing almost um, In the really really hairy situations where there's like so many enemies. Yeah, I can get frantic and not relaxing at all Ooh, weapon um, I, I, I don't know what it is. I think I think Uncle Derek can agree. There's just something magical well, Earth Defense Force, or it's been going on for like, I don't know how many decades now. Like, the very first one I was aware of was like the Simple 2000 games. Um, I'd heard about them or seen screenshots, and then I think one of them got localized in Europe um, under a weird title. I forget what it was for the PS2. Yeah, okay, okay, office friend, you're just getting in there, but let's shoot whatever this pink thing is from here. Is are relatively safe in this distance. And then, of course, Earth Defense Force 2017 and then Insect Armageddon, so on and so forth. I, I've been considering, while I'm standing here shooting this thing forever, uh, it'd be the perfect amount of games where it's like, I think I can do like a whole retrospective on the series, yeah? Where it started, like the spin-offs, uh, World Brothers and Iron Rain. Iron Rain was weird. I didn't really know what the purpose of that game was. It was made by Ukes for some reason, and it was just Earth Defense Force again. I don't really know. It wasn't really clear to me what, what made that different. It has been a while since I played it, so maybe there's something obvious I'm forgetting. Ew, just you're just coated in the bug bug juice. I really wish it would affect your characters. Like it splashes all over the ground, that looks fine. But it's like it'd be cool to like you just be caked in it. Become one with the bug juice. Uh. And like, I don't know, it, it, it depends on the difficulty you put on, but it's like getting really good weapons, because right now, like, this uh, this is the, the starting machine gun. Alright, the exoskeletons uh, that are on the backs of these trucks will help. I don't know if these flames are actually doing anything. They seem just out of range. But yeah, for those for those that do know, you'll know. But for yeah, the, the, those that are not aware of uh, EDF games, like later you can pilot a giant mech. Like it, it goes crazy hard with the amount of stuff that you can eventually do. It just takes a while to get there, like hours and hours. Like you can play four hours and you'll still be on like the same types of missions. Um, but as long as the, I find, as long as the encounters are constructed in a certain way, where you're never doing one thing for too long, they have to move to the next location, then they throw a new enemy type, then you have to go and destroy this. Like, as long as that's on point, um, it usually works out in the end. Like, it usually makes for a uh, pretty compelling couple hours of play. And what I don't remember why, or I don't think it even did, but I only think World Brothers, the weird, like, chibi spin-offs. Oh my god, look at the size of this giant wasp mama. 
That's one big bitch, baby. Man, that is one big bitch cockroach. Doesn't fly, though. I guess it's a little tired. Ugh. Ew. Not even sure what it's trying to be, trying to spray here. I don't know, maybe some type of like poison ivy seductive perfume. <laughs> Get me to fall in love with it? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, being this close and hitting all the shots with the machine gun should kill it pretty quickly. Because this isn't even like considered uh, a, a, an actual end boss or anything. Oh, did it die? Yeah, yeah, big crumples. Oh, give me, 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 yeah, money, money, yeah. They're laying eggs everywhere like they own the place. <laughs> laying eggs everywhere, okay. Yeah, you know when someone comes to your house and starts laying eggs everywhere and you're just like, what, you, you think you own my place here? Weird thing to say. But that's also like the charm of VDF, obviously. What? It's just a big chicken egg. That's not what a bug egg looks like. Bug eggs are way grosser. I think. I, I guess it's like if they're weird alien monster mutates, then what's, what are they, are they supposed to be accurate? It's EDF. Like there's gonna be like these like Asian looking dragons that attack us at some point. Like there's, it, it makes no, and then there's robots too. So are the aliens forcing the bugs to make the robots? Like, what's the deal with that? It, you know, their whole life cycle of the primers makes makes very little sense. You just have to go around and show all these eggs. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh there's a bunch of them uh, showing up on my radar. Okay, so this new missile launcher, it shoots like a huge cluster. Hold down the button. The problem with it is that its accuracy is crap but you can shoot a lot of them and, and they do less damage than the rocket launcher I had before. So, you know, it's, it's give or take. This would be pretty good for like mid range and being surrounded by a ton of enemies. Cause it'll be, sometimes it'll be so many that you can't miss. Don't waste fuel. Don't waste fuel. Damn, this sucks. What is happening down here? Oh, it's those guys that were talking about wasting fuel. I guess the flamethrowers. Oh, the frogs now, too. Don't get me started on the frogs. I, I feel like they were coerced into fighting for this evil alien force. I don't think they actually want... Ooh, thank you. I don't think they actually want to fight. They, they know they're being used, but... They don't really have a say in it. Do we really have to eliminate every single egg... Because that seems like a lot. I feel like there's an egg in this building, but I can't see it. And yeah, I think certain buildings can be destroyed and certain ones can't. If memory serves, I must be missing something. Because you have to kill every enemy on the map, by the way. Maybe there's special... Oh, there it is. Maybe there's special circumstances when you don't have to, but I'd say like 98% of the time you do. Ooh, I should probably get that weapon. If, usually, if you see a weapon, you like, oh, I'll get it in a bit, get it later. No, no, you're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret that till your dying day. Oh, if only I picked up that one weapon. A normal difficulty, an Earth Defense Force, blankety blank. Doesn't matter which one. Oh, there's another one. Ugh. All right, this is the last one we're missing. Are you dead? Please be dead. All right. When music goes out, that means the level's complete. Thank God uh, no more civilians died. Dude, this place is a ghost town. All right, let's see if we can, like, get some early hits in, though. No, we can't. Even if a building falls on an enemy, it doesn't really do any actual damage, as far as I know. Oh, my God. There's so many ants. Why so many ants? I'd say the, the most common, most annoying enemy in all of EDF is the spiders. Uh, I'll see if we, we get to them, but um, spiders can throw like these uh, these web threads that just attach to you, and they can attach to you from like half the city map. 
and they just kind of sap your strength and like and or they can pick you up i think sometimes they're just they're just the most because they can't attack you physically with like uh you know biting you or anything it's just these stupid web threads just web weavers shooting this stuff out of his out of his ass is really annoying Ooh, lots of weapons so far though and the match already just started the match the mission already started thank you um, and if you put the difficulty up higher, normal is, is normal, but if you put it up to uh, hard and very hard and God, if you're strong enough, inferno difficulty, then you get more and more weapon drops. So you have a more, uh, better chance of getting like the really high tier weapons, like machine guns with like, you know, tons of ammo to shoot before you have to reload, uh, very, very, a small amount of spread, um, any anything really cool because the best weapons are like the standard ones but the ones with the best stats like in my in my opinion like if you're a wing diver you have a whole other set of weapons like you have a lot, lot of lasers guided missiles crazy shit uh but for ranger which i really think is like you know the the shotokan karate uh shoto sort of uh build class or you want to call it an EDF, like that's that's what I go for, because it's what's most familiar and comfortable. And usually in EDF games, maybe at least the earlier ones, there's always like civilians running around scared, and sometimes they can fuck up your day. Sometimes they get in the way of your shots, and you can't. I don't think you can actually kill them. They're basically like stationary objects, but they they can't actually die. Therefore, that's a problem. Because if they get hit by, like, a rocket shot and they just run right in front of you in the line of fire, it explodes right in your face and you get killed. And that's when you take the biggest damage, I find. Like, especially suddenly. And you can't do much about it. Look at this city. No one lives here. It's pointless to defend a bunch of empty buildings. That's what I'm saying, my guy! We won the war, but all that's left is in his ruins. Defending empty city makes me want to cry. Think about what happens if we let aliens claim our cities. We have to show them this planet is ours. So it's just like a moral victory. It's like actual victory. But our life before all this was truly cruel, but we were saved. We live harsh lives now, but we're much better off than before. Well, that's, I mean, good for you for changing your circumstance. Is that it? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm in danger. All right, let's see if we can get a few lucky shots. We did not. These are the wasps. So they shoot barbs out of their, their buttholes. Like little spikes. Um, it, can get, it can get pretty hairy like it is right now. This is a great shot though. Skybox looks great. Good stuff, Sandlot. I'll never forget the time that Nintendo hired Sandlot, the makers of Earth Defense Force, and a bunch of other like kind of silly B tier, C tier uh, games to make like a Wii exclusive that uh, giant slaying game where you're a bunch of anime characters and you just have like swords and you're just slashing them in half and slashing their heads off at a, like a German name as the title. I always forget it. When Liam went to Japan years and years ago, he got me a copy, which is very nice. But I've never been actually able to, to, to play it because it was very very Japanese heavy to get through it and and playing it was just hard um I tried again someday I wish that was, that was one of the games that got the operation rainfall treatment I don't think it ever got local like I don't think it ever got a fan translation but it was pretty similar to this just think about this but in a medieval setting and fighting like giant trolls and like uh fantasy creatures uh god I always forget the name of it anyway a uh, very, very uh, obscure Wii game. And yeah, Nintendo published it, but just never... Nintendo of America never decided to bring it over. Thanks, Reggie. <laughs> this has gotten out of hand now. Ooh, can I get this last armor piece? You can get this armor piece up until the screen fades out. Like, there. Right when the loading screen is, you can still collect stuff. And that's that's where it comes in clutch. So I got some missile launchers, uh, flamethrower, uh, nothing too great. Missile launchers, I prefer rocket launchers because missiles are usually slow. I don't like them as much as the ro rockets have much more impact. 
All right, so our next mission is to eliminate the monsters. The monsters will only get in our way. <laughs> So we just need to to procreate. Oh my God! It's the red. It's the red. It's the red ants. So these these can trap you in their jaws and like bite you. And yeah, it's it's not a great time. It doesn't happen too often, but it it happens enough that it's annoying. Let's see if we can get rid of thin this herd a little bit. What a weird thing to say. Looks like my streak of bad luck ends and everything else. That doesn't sound great. There's so many maps I remember from the earlier Earth Defense Forces where you're in like the forest setting. Not a forest, but like big open fields and mountains and stuff. And just so many red ants all the time, everywhere. It's too much. So I think that this, this particular uh, EDF, uh, I think it might have come out in... Uh, uh, like Asian territories, uh, but and and it still has the English version on it. Like you can just put on English subs or whatever, or translate the uh, the main menu stuff. But I'm not a hundred percent on that. I feel like that did happen though. But for whatever reason, it's just Steam right now and no other consoles. And it usually skips the Xbox consoles, which is kind of sad. Like I get it because. Like, you know, third-party games just don't sell on the Xbox unless it's like Game Pass or whatever. But uh, it, it is kind of sad because, you know, the, the series got any sort of notoriety uh, being an Xbox 360 exclusive. And then they kind of just started making them exclusively for the PlayStation. Like a couple are, are like PlayStation only. And they're the Vita versions. Like there's a lot. There's never like a DS or a 3DS. Well, I don't think the DS could do it, but there's never like a 3DS version. Like there's PSP and then there were a few Vitas, uh, Vita games, I think. But not a lot of handhelds. And I, and I think outside World Brothers 1, World Brothers 2 is coming out. Let's see what's up here. I shudder to think. Whoa! Ugh. What a vista. All right, here they are. So now that we foolishly entered their giant crater, it's what they wanted. Look at the amount of red coming up on on the radar. Oh, my God. Okay, they seem pretty preoccupied. I think my office friend is, is doing well. Was it glorious, though? Because 90% of the population got killed and everything is in ruins. I'm not sure how glorious it was. You you got a W for sure. But even then, I'm not even certain about that because the aliens are still here. The giant but sorry, the monsters are still here. So did we actually win? It just seems like we didn't get them all and they just multiplied. Usually that, that's the story of every game. Like we thought the monsters were gone. But they've just been fucking raw. In caves underground. We just didn't... We didn't give a crap. Our scientists probably told us. And we were like, nah. Nerd. We killed all those monsters. It's almost always what the story is. I don't even think Sandlot makes anything other than this. Like, I can't recall the last time I, I knew that Sandlot made something. Maybe they make, like, some Japanese-only uh, games I'm not aware of, but I swear they just make EDF. Like, never anything else. Which I guess is fine. You make what, make whatever you like. Oh, wow. Look, there's three weapons back there. Gotta, gotta pick those up. I'm working up a sweat. <laughs> yeah, weapon. Shotgun. Yo, <laughs> running on the... Air? That was incredible. <laughs> one day, one day we'll be rewarded, but I'm not really confident on that. Oh, let me get it, let me get it. I'll make it. There you go, nice, nice. Okay, a new rocket launcher. No, no, I upgraded my current rocket launcher, so its stats would have gone up a bit. I do have a new assault rifle, though. Uh, another assault rifle. It's just, I bet it's just an upgrade on the first one. So there's some stuff. All right, back to frogs. 
<laughs> there, there, there clearly is, because they were just able to like live and burrow wherever. There's actually tons of space for them because ninety percent of the population is dead. Why don't we like work with them? They're clearly superior. Giant frogs with shotguns. Who's gonna top that? The EDF? Hell nah. The EDF doesn't even have like a good dental plan. Lisa needs etc. etc. Uh. Uh. And it's crazy that that sense of scale, the sense of impact of just shooting and everything has like been maintained since Earth Defense Force 2017. But that's, I, it's called that not because it's like an original game that has the same name. You just say 2017 to distinguish when it was released. No, it was because it was, it took place in 2017, even though it came out in like 2007 or whatever. But it's very clear that Sandlot has just been taking the same engine and just been working with it for like decades and decades. It's it's very admirable. That that's why I think uh, Iron Rain did differently. I think Iron Rain was like a slightly different engine. Aliens, so that means frogs. There they are. You think I can't see him, but I can. This will probably miss. Yeah, it it zipped straight past his peeper. Stop saying that you have powered exoskeletons. You don't. They're just turrets. Why would you lie? Oh god, more wasps. What the? Giant cock ring for Galactus? Wait, wait, I can't fight anymore. Don't come back. Am I supposed to hit it right there? Let's see if we can make this shot. Uh. Okay. Can I not actually shoot this? Yeah, some, some, there's some like set pieces and elements where you can't actually affect the battle. Like you, you just literally waste time until the game says, okay, like now the next thing happens. So even if you see a giant ship, or I think in some circumstance it was like a giant kaiju, it was like you can't actually defeat this thing. You're just supposed to survive. It's just weird in a game like this, you know, when you're encouraged to shoot everything that moves. Just, there's so much going on in terms of, like, destructibility and, like, you know, enemies coming off in segmented parts. And you'd think there'd be more bugs and, like, weird shit. But uh, even when there is, it's always hilarious, though. Like, like Sandlot and, and EDF, is, Sandlot is, like, the FromSoft of video games. Where they, they know one thing and they, they do it consistently and well, you know? Like, imagine if Sandlot, like, like, poached uh, Miyazaki from FromSoft, and they're like, okay, you're directing Earth Defense Force. I would love that. That would be a dream collab. Yo. EDF Souls? Get fucking in. Come on, you say no to that. Oh, uh, yeah, no. You know, it's, it's, it's an idea too precious for this world. It's too cool, so it can't possibly exist. What the hell are these? I've never seen these before. Um, unless they showed up, because I didn't beat Earth Defense Force 5. I got like, I don't know, 50 missions in or something. A lot. I don't remember ever seeing these before, so that's... That's cool. New enemy type. I'm a little intimidated by... They're just, they're just standing there, not really affecting anything uh, but there's still lots of frogs to kill wait what huh what the okay like, what is happening yo the event horizon get out guys I want to see what's happening I can't while well, the frogs are attacking me. <gasps> that was neat. What does it mean? Oh, let's let's pick up the last pieces of armor just in case. Uh, 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 uh. No, there's one. We just have to endure. Oh, that's not our usual opponents. What the hell are you talking about? 
So a little while ago, there was a conversation with some of the uh, soldiers where they're like, they're like, the, the monsters are just trying to survive. Why can't we like, you know, live with them? It's like, I, I, I don't think you should try to live with the race that tried to destroy all of humanity. I don't think they're up for talking. What the hell are these? What? Are they robots? There's one dancing on the building, mocking me. Yeah, it's robots, I guess. So yeah, we've we've found the triumvirate. The the robots, the aliens, and and the monsters. The holy trinity. What the oh it throws out gauntlets on wires? It's cool. It seems like there's a bunch of cowards on the team. Like, even after everything they've seen, they're just like, Oh, I don't want to fight. Like, dude, you, like, were, like, stuck in, to the, in the stomach of a giant frog. And I blasted you out. I think you'll survive some rando robots. Because, yeah, I, I think that's the other strength of the franchise. Where it's like, they know that they can't have the same, like, enemies over and over again. And, you know, so they throw tons of them and they're fun to kill, right? But it's like... Uh, they'll dip into anything, even if it doesn't make any thematic sense. Monsters, aliens, and robots, and like giant kaiju, and then flying dragons, and weird stuff, right? And because they like can't keep it all consistent with like, you know, just robots. They're like, no, we need to have some enemy diversity. Again, even if it doesn't make sense. Uh, and they sure nailed that, that aspect, the doesn't make sense aspect. These things, these things are a, are a little strange. I think these are brand new. Almost positive because uh, all our all our troops are. I, I, yeah, I keep forgetting to use these grenades more. See, they're pretty good. I think I only get three of them until I maybe pick up some more. Oh god, there's there's even more this time. There's even more this time. Oh, ooh. Yeah, just if you can find a good straightaway and then just back up as you shoot, have like any decent weapon. And there's, yeah, there's see the bunch of buildings flanking us on the, on the left. That just means there's not really a lot of area for them to surprise you and come up behind her on the side. So this is a pretty good position, all things considered. I know it doesn't look like it's going well, but I, I believe it is. I believe strongly it's going to, okay. <laughs> you know? And of course, there are just weird brains inside the... So they're like barely robots. They're cyborgs. There's there's an organic element, yeah. Everyone in my family died. Why am I fighting? My parents are killed too. Their whole evacuation bus was destroyed. It's, it's, it's a little too late that we can't beat the androids. There are too many of them. It's a little late to be like wondering this. Like we're like seven missions in, maybe more now. I lost count. Like EDF is like the NWO. It's for life. For, 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 for life. You have to treat it as such. Now we're on wave three of Robo Robocalypse. There's too, too many now. Okay, I will admit. But their their weapons seem to be pretty easy to avoid. Like they're never usually hitting me or they're, or they're completely uh, diverted their attention to like the other troopers which which i believe i'm the main threat here thank you all right let's throw some more grenades yeah, yeah, yeah. so i have like one left of three uh so yeah i'm not sure if grenades are new now that i think about it might have been an edf5 and just completely forgot but that that's what it is ever since like edf4 then uh, five and six. There's like three of them. They're special versions of each one, I believe. Um, that it, the, you know, improvements and new things are, are incremental at best, and hard to notice at worst. And I like their dancing. They're, they're, a lot of them are just having fun with it. You know, they're they're just throwing it back. They're having a good time. I I feel that there's very little malice in these robots. They're just here, just wanting to have a good time on Earth. We don't get many dubs these days. That was lucky. What a great thing to say after a fight. <laughs> it's like a little, a, a bit bionicle coded, these guys, the way that they're, they're constructed. Their faces, not so much, but the rest of their bodies, I guess. 
Okay, like there's two more left. Uh, where, where's this one? And is there any weapons? You know what? We should go back to the main... There, there, I see them. This is the main street I was fighting a lot of them on. I bet you there's a shitload of stuff to pick up. Yeah, yeah, all that green in front of me on the radar, that's all items. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh wait, there's two more enemies on the map somewhere. So that's usually what I do. I and I think you'll agree it's it's a it's a good tactic. You wait until there's like one or two enemies left, like maybe like two or three. Um, and it lets you have time to pick up uh any power-ups you think you may have missed. Because once you've killed that last one, then the match usually a uh, match. Why do I keep saying match? The mission usually ends and only gives you so much time, like 20 seconds at most. And as you can see, maps are quite large. So you do wanna handle that but sometimes you're not sure what the rest uh, end of the mission is like th there could be another part after this where a whole other wave shows up i'm pretty sure three waves uh is the maximum oh there they are uh good stuff they, they're, they're not too tough i guess in terms of how much damage they take i guess it's just hitting their legs their spindly unsettling legs is a little rough. Good thing they have these giant bulbous heads. All right, there you go. Very satisfying explosion. I will give them that. Yeah, that was a good mission, you guys. I feel refreshed. I have some rats or whatever we eat in this universe. There's not much left. So that is Earth Defense Force 6. I think that gives a good indication of what you can expect, which is more Earth Defense Force, which I can't say is, is a bad thing. I just kind of wish they'd have like a another series that um, would be doing something wildly different because even World Brothers isn't super different, just has a different art style and is more co-op focused. I don't know. But let me know what you thought about it in the comments below if you'd like me to play some other uh, EDF games. And I, and I might do that retrospective one day. There's one thing that's worth fighting for and making videos for and living for. It's the EDF.